Jesus is so badass. He was like the king of calling out bull****. People are like, hey, you can't talk to Samaritans. Jesus is like, bull****. Well, I think it's really good if you're a teenager and discovering your sexuality to talk to someone other than your family and your parents. Uh, to find a responsible adult. We are open and affirming LGBTQ. We are feminist, and I believe Jesus was too. I don't care if the Bible says gay people suck. I have lots of things I disagree with about the Bible. We are environmentalists, which I believe that's the original mandate of the children of God to take care of the planet that we, we all know and enjoy. As you've done to the least of these, you've done to me. So as I read this encyclical on the environment, it hit me Matthew 25 is again at stake because the hungry will get hungrier because of climate change. Pope Francis is the greatest conversation changer in the world today. And his host, President Evo Morales, handed him an unusual gift, a wooden hammer and sickle crucifix. It's a classic communism symbol, frequently worn by a Jesuit priest. There is no other leader who can change our thinking, whether we're religious or not. The Bible is pro-slavery, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. The devil is not trying to get you to sin, he's just trying to get you to keep the law. Because if he can get you to keep the law, you will sin. Jesus was a Palestinian Jewish rabbi. He was a person of color that was killed by white supremacy. So we're usually making every effort to be on the front lines for racial justice. He began to preach inclusion, that everyone goes to heaven and that there is no hell. We probably got it wrong. Instead of the Bible being the inspired word of God, it's probably just the inspired word of man about God. It doesn't have a very great view of women leading and teaching. We evaluate an economy by how it treats the most vulnerable. How we decide the morality, uh, the integrity, the righteousness of an economy. Now that is more radical than communism and socialism. This goes way back beyond socialism, communism. This is a radical approach. Hi, I'm Kerry Gordon, senior pastor of Cornerstone World Outreach in Sioux City, Iowa. We're about to make an exciting movie and an important movie and it's gonna help a lot of people. Our motivation is simple. I love the church, I love the Bible, I love Christianity, I love God's people, I love being in ministry myself. Jesus made something extremely clear in the Bible to us as Christians, especially when he commissioned preachers like me to carry the gospel forward in history. It's a two-part mission. Number one, we are to accurately preach the gospel of the kingdom to every generation until Christ returns. But secondly, Jesus made this very, very clear. Wolves would enter in who would twist the gospel of the kingdom and use it to bait and allure God's people away from the truth to destroy them. So preachers are not just to accurately preach the gospel, they're also to aggressively and bravely defend the accurate preaching of the gospel. And the only way to really do that is by exposing lies. So in this movie, our intent is to do both. Number one, to present the truth, and number two, in order to make sure that the truth is clearly represented, to also expose the lies that lead people away from the truth. Part of loving people is being willing to tell them the truth even when it's not welcome or even when it's not popular. Part of sharing truth obviously requires a willingness to expose deceptions. Now some people have come to us and said, hey, why are you making this movie now? Well, here's why. There are certain denominations that we've all sort of given up on. Giant Christian organizations that we all trusted and loved, that we've all been very thankful for in past years, are, are suddenly beginning to show signs that they're caving and surrendering to cultural pressures. And many of you, many who will watch this movie in fact, still think that those institutions are safe and they're not. Many people in America right now still think that they can trust these large gospel coalition organizations, but they can no longer be trusted. The reason why Jesus warned us about wolves who will twist the truth is truth is taken and wordsmithed ever so carefully so that you buy into the lie without ever realizing that it's a lie. And we've been approached by some of the boldest people in the world people who stand to lose everything. They're risking their whole ministry to come forward. And they've come forward to us and other members of the production team. And they've said, look, I'm willing to risk everything to expose what's really going on in these organizations because I love the gospel too much. I love Jesus too much. I have to tell you, you're gonna be shocked by some of the information that comes out in our documentary. 
Our production team wants to help these brave souls who've come forward with evidence of corruption inside many large Christian institutions. We want to help them by giving them a voice. Now, some of them have been threatened that they better be quiet. And I really admire their willingness to put everything on the line to help people like me and you. And we want to give voice to people not just in America, but around the world who are seeing a great falling away out of the church. We believe that by doing this movie, by producing it, we're pleasing the Lord Jesus Christ and helping God's sheep steer through the minefield of history. We've assembled a really great team in the production of this documentary. Trevor Loudon and Curtis Bowers and Judd Saul, they all come from various different backgrounds. The thing about all of us that we share is we all have a passion for the truth. We've all been tested under great pressure when it wasn't popular, and we've all taken moments in our lives where we've stood for the truth. And that's why it's such an honor to work with this team. I believe in the mission, I believe in the goal of this movie, and I know that it's gonna help people around the world who see it, and I'm excited to be involved in it. Here's what we need from you. We need you to pray for us, we really do, and we cherish the prayers. Secondly, we would really love it if you would help us share this video with everybody that you know just hitting share and putting this on Facebook and Twitter and all over the internet would really be a blessing. Share it with your family, your friends, the people that you go to church with. That would be a great blessing to us. Thirdly, what we need from you is, you know, we would love to see this movie in theaters across the United States. However, uh, needless to say, Hollywood's not stepping up to underwrite our film. Um, Hollywood's not gonna help you make a movie that explains the dangers of liberal theology. How do you define God and how did you find it? I think God is like a song. They love liberal theology. So we're completely dependent on people like you, a grassroots effort to raise the funds to produce the movie. And every gift counts. Would you consider helping us financially? That's what we would ask thirdly. $10, $100, maybe some of you could give 10000 Every gift matters, and we appreciate every gift that comes in. I think that you'll agree, this is a really challenging time to be a Christian in history. But we don't have to be afraid of challenging times. Jesus said, don't be afraid of this world. Don't be afraid of the times that you live in. So we don't have to be afraid. Jesus said, I have already overcome the world. And then he said, you can too. And we know how he overcame the world was with truth. And that's the same way that we're going to win. We're going to be more than overcomers, the Bible says as we champion the truth and expose the lies. And that's what this movie is all about, bringing the truth to people around the world and warning them about the dangers of seductive sayings and the kinds of intellectual arguments that people come up with. They sound like the gospel, they look like the gospel, might even smell the same way, but it's not the gospel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you in advance for any contributions that you could make toward the production of this movie. We believe that together we can make a difference.